Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play What Shall We Do With The Drunken Sailor? Drunken Sailor is an old and genuine uh, sea shanty uh, and uh, it was popular from the 1830s on among sailors and in the 20th century it was revived as a popular song among non-sailors and it remains probably the most commonly known sea shanty today. Um, it's in the Dorian mode which is... <laughs> Um, I'm going to give you six versions. I'm going to use two keys, D minor and E minor, and I'm going to give you the simplest, a slightly more interesting version, and a flashy solo version, both in D minor and in E minor. Uh, this tune, this song, was recorded by Nathan Evans um, during lockdown, and uh, he did it in D flat. Although I strongly suspect that he didn't do it in D flat, I think somewhere along the production line it turned into D flat. Because there's a whole lot of other musicians playing along and I'm sure they didn't play their mandolins and tin whistles and all that in D flat. Um, but he got 5 million views so whatever he did, he did it right. <laughs> but I'm going to give you D minor and E minor. Let's start off with um, the most simple version in D minor, which goes like this. Let's move on to the, let's do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to add a few open string drones and a few little um, Irish style ornaments. Three, four. <laughs> So the first bar of this we, uh, melody note is an A, but we put in a D drone underneath it. And you can either do that as written just on the first note, or you can do it all the way through the melody. There's a G note. And this is a, um, what's called a double cut. And uh, a double cut is an Irish ornament, it's slurred, in, in this case it's slurred between two notes. I do have a video about the cut and the double cut if you're interested. And then the chorus. So this is a, a, a roll, which is another Irish ornament, uh, played over a G drone. And a little bit of syncopation across the bar line. Now this is the kind of tune that if you're an experienced player um, you would probably consider this tune um, a little boring shall we say but as, as is normally the case there's always something you can do to make it interesting and as challenging as you like. So I'm going to give you a little fiddle solo um, which is just an example of a few flashy little lines that you can put in uh, just to make it more interesting if you do a solo. Three, four. Sped up, that would be something like this. But if you're doing it 
with singing then it's probably not going to be at that kind of tempo. Uh, before we move on to the E minor version I'm just going to suggest that uh, C shanties are great for fiddlers who um, quite fancy the idea of singing but don't really sing <laughs> and that's I count myself among that. I've always enjoyed singing backing I've never enjoyed doing lead singing but this is the kind of song where you don't need a great voice to do a good job on the singing uh, particularly if lots of people are singing it's a great one to join in and it's something where you could consider if you've never done it before um, fiddle singing which is playing and singing at the same time because it's such an easy melody and it's such easy chords so uh, you could play um, play the melody and unison. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor in the morning? Way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, way, hey, and up she rises, sailor in the morning. Which is quite fun. And this just happens to be in what I consider the good part of my voice. Um, you could do two off beats. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor in the morning? Or you could do um, chugs or shuffles. Way, hey, and up she rises. 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 Sailor in the morning. And so on. And there's lots of other verses. I've given you some of them uh, below on the sheet music here. Um, so if you've never done fiddle singing before, then this is a good place to, to, to try it out. We'll go straight from the second verse. simplest version, the version with a little bit of ornamentation and drones and finally a flashy solo version. So simple version drones and a few of those ornaments. Incidentally, there's nothing remotely traditional about it. It's simply a, uh, a random set of flashy little licks. I'll just go through that again slightly slower. decide whether D minor or E minor is best uh, that will depend partly on whoever is singing it what their voice thinks but uh, D minor moving to E minor is actually really effective so I'm going to finish off by playing uh, a little version with uh, first chorus D minor verse chorus E minor just so you can hear the change and if you would like a copy of the dots for this then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email and if you want to see these videos keep coming please do consider joining me on Patreon and one of the things you will get there is a zip file with all of my PDFs which is around 350 of them. Thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon.